guys, welcome back to the VIP Lounge, the place for value, impact, and purpose. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is pretty much the hardest topic to discuss because it's something that's really personal and hey. I want to share it so that people can understand me better. So... Warning. Please click off this video if you are uncomfortable with the titled subject below. Thank you. Let's talk about how I handle my cycle as a visually impaired woman. Okay, before I get started, let me just say... To all of my visually impaired girls out there, make sure to pay extra attention to your body whenever it's the time of the month. Pay attention to the smell and, yeah, the smell your body is producing. And that time, pay attention to the texture of that special fluid on your body. Is it sticky? Is it lumpy? Is it runny? Yeah. Y'all get the drill. <laughs> I don't want to get too, 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 too detailed. But yeah, that's pay attention to that. So that you don't make other people feel uncomfortable. And you also don't have to feel uncomfortable once you know what it is. Because I know sometimes it's really uncomfortable or annoying to have to ask someone who's sighted to check for you to make sure that are you on or, or not. So these are just some of the things I just thought I should mention before I share my, my experience. Where to begin? Let's start from when it all started. I think I started my cycle when I was 12 or 13. I'm not sure exactly what the, the age was, but some of it. So initially when it started, I honestly didn't know what it was. Being an innocent child who only knew that if you don't drink enough water, your pee is gonna stink and gonna have some discoloration. And I thought maybe I was extremely dehydrated, so I went and drank, I think it was almost two liters of water, thinking it was gonna change and it didn't. Honey, it was just a whole mess. I remember the house help noticed what was happening and she actually knew that hey, it was time, and unfortunately she didn't say anything or try to help me or talk to me. Probably she didn't know how to, or she was thinking in her head that it was probably my parents' responsibility to sit me down, talk to me about it, and just explain that, you know what, you're going to reach a certain age, and your body's going to go. And there are a lot of changes, including a menstrual cycle. So I don't remember how I eventually realized that that was happening. I just remember that I finally got the memo. <laughs> and I think I only got to know exactly what it was all about and how to handle like the changing of the bag, the hygiene stuff in, in high school. No one told me what to do, no one told me when to change, and, and in general, just how to handle that time of the month. I literally figured out everything on my own. So, I think going to high school, to a boarding school, where we had goals, diving and, what do they call, diving, counseling, 
freaking work, by the way, was super boring. Oh, gosh. I really didn't like those sessions. But definitely, it did help. They taught me a lot of things. I think it made it easier to manage my cycle as a social media person. So, now, on to the current stuff, how I handled it. So, I'm not one who has a very healthy cycle, it's in between. And I have a regular 28 day cycle. And so that's a good thing for me. Also, I'm grateful that I don't experience any kind of period pain. I might do like a little cramping that just tells me that, yo, it's about to happen maybe like a week before or a few days before. And once in the blue moon, I have those headaches, which are not really crazy headaches. It's something that I can tolerate. And what else? What else? I guess my biggest sign of symptom that I'm on my period is stigmatizing. I don't feel like doing anything, so I literally already I do things at my own pace. When I'm on my cycle, it's even worse. I get things done, but I'm obviously grumpy doing it. So, um, all I do is, if I get up in the morning, maybe it's back in the morning, I just take a box and I change, right? The normal way that people do it, you get your pad, you remove the stickers and all of that stuff, and then you place it on your undergarment, and you wear it. How is that comfortable? You wear it, right? And so, how do I know that it's time to, to change? As someone who's usually impaired, I make sure that I pay attention to what's going on down there, like the texture, the smell, the, what's it called? I'm not sure what it's called. Like, is it thick, is it thin? That kind of thing. I'm not sure what the English word is. That is English. Anyways. No! The word I was looking for is consistency. Bingo! Yo! Jesus Christ! I can't believe this! I make sure I pay attention to those things. So usually I don't check with the, the little site that I have in my... This is right, this. In, yeah, the site... The, the little site that I have in my next eye, which is your eye, watching this site. I don't usually check, even though I can see it. I don't usually check, I just prefer to, to feel it. And also, each time I go to the, to the restroom, I make sure that I wipe. So, when you feel a little moisture, you know that, oh, okay, it's time. I hope that makes sense. So, when I know it's time to change, I feel like I'm rambling. Sorry, guys. Anyways, when I feel like it's time to change, I make sure I pay attention to the weight of the pad that I'm wearing at that time. And I just make sure that I try and change consistently after every six hours so, so that I don't have any kind of accidents. And also when I use the restroom, I make sure that I go with my phone and put on my torch and then I put my thing. Oh. Excuse me. There's just so much wind that's irritating my my nose my nose, so I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable. So as I was saying I just make sure I switch on my torch and then I 
maximize my brightness so then I go to my camera, that's how I check the state of the, the toilet. And just make sure I have a list in evidence of my womanness. <laughs> my female femaleness. And if I'm not sure if it's clean, 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 Oscar flashing, I just take a brush or a tissue and just wipe the, the entire toilet, the entire seat, and even the inside. It's empty because you never know where just that little, yeah, that little dot, that little A. <laughs> and that's just basically it. If I'm not sure, I ask someone that I'm comfortable with to just check for me, even if uh, I'm, I feel like maybe I've had an accident. I go somewhere with this lots of light. Let me just say, I go by the way the way the light is reflecting. Yeah, and then I check if everything is good. So, I think I said enough with you guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you have anything interesting to say, comment down below and also like my content, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And share also if you found this helpful. Because I know a lot of a lot of people from the mainstream worldwide and I guess you guys are educated and if you are visually impaired, share with me your tips how you handle your cycle and I hope that what I shared has also helped one or two people out there. That's all from here guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.